Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. I decided I just wanna hop on here and do a quick uh, sort of vlog. I'm gonna do like a thrift slash shop with me today. Uh, excuse my skin, sucks right now, masked knee is a thing. Uh, it's okay, I'm embracing it, it's fine. I also just got done working out for the day. It's been a long time since I worked out, so I really enjoyed getting back in the gym. It greatly improves my mental health to work out. I highly recommend if you're feeling in a slump or feeling down to just get active in some way, because it definitely helps. Um, I'm a big believer in that. Today is my brother's birthday. I don't know, this is not gonna go live on my brother's birthday, but happy birthday Coleman if you're watching. Um, so my plan for next is I'm going to go to CVS to pick up my migraine injection that I do every month. Um, and then I have a couple other errands to run, just some things to pick up. But then I'm going to go to Second and Charles, which I've vlogged before on here that I went there. And I'm going to go to a couple of thrift stores. And I think that's all. I might show you guys my updated bookshelf. It's changed even since the last video. So I'm going to show you guys how um, Hunter rearranged it for me. And it looks great. And I'm really excited about it because I have a lot more room now. So yeah, I'm just going to take you along with me. Well, while I am waiting in this super long um, CVS line, let me just tell you about what I've been reading lately. So right now I'm listening to the audiobook for Serpent and Dove, and I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm only like two hours in, I think, so I haven't even really dented the audiobook yet. Um, and then physically I'm reading The Merciless, the fourth book, which is the final book. Um, I'm really enjoying it so far. I've loved this series. It's like a YA series um it's like a paranormal uh mis not mystery more like just like paranormal horror kind of series <laughs> excuse me um also it's freaking 88 degrees right now where i live i live in alabama and uh it is april 13th and it is frying right now it is so hot oh my god um so i'm just waiting in the cbs drive through and it's taking forever um, so yeah, that's what I'm reading right now. I'm really enjoying both of those books. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else. I don't know what I'm going to read next. I have so many books on my TBR that I have to get to. Um, but I definitely want to do a video soon talking about like my favorite books that I've read recently. Um, because I, I stopped doing the monthly wrap up videos just because on, quite honestly, I haven't had time. Um, but I love those kind of videos just so I can like go back and look at kind of like what I read that month and what my favorite books were. So I don't know, we'll see, I might bring it back or I might do it like every couple of months um, and maybe just talk about like my five star reads. I don't know, let me know what you guys think, what you would prefer, but I definitely wanna do something like that again so I can talk about what my favorite books were, so yeah. All right, we have stop number one, Vapor Thrift Store.
All right, so we are almost done with today's video. I'm gonna give you a little haul, everything that I got. Um, I got some books and then I also got some random groceries. I figured I'd show you why not, who cares, you know? Uh, let's see. So I showed you guys footage, footage from the thrift store that I went to and that one always has really good books. Um, so I got really lucky. I tried to show you guys the books like while I was in there, but I figured we would just do a, uh, an overhaul anyway and just go over everything. So, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. Okay, so this, sit. This is one of my favorite books of all time. This is a middle grade book um, that I loved in middle school. And really this is probably the book that like got me into reading in the first place. I um, mean, that is Ink Cart by Cornelia Funk. And I love her as an author. I think she writes amazing books. Um, anyway, she also wrote The Thief Lord, if you've ever written that. Um, but yeah, I really love this book. So I really wanted to own a copy of it. I've never owned this book. Um, so yeah, I think it's beautiful. Um, it is about a girl who, it's about a book. The book is Ink Cart. It's been a long time since I read it. I know that it's about a book and like this girl, her dad um, like repairs books, I believe. I might be totally butchering this, but I, I love this book. Okay, and so this next one is a Disney retelling, question mark, not 100% sure, but it's about Cruella de Vil and it's called Evil Thing. This is what it looks like. This is in great condition also, as well as the other one. Um, Okay, yeah, it's basically just like about Cruella de Vil. So that's cool. I love Disney books. Any chance that I get, I will buy one. I'm trying to see if I have, okay, yeah, hold on one second. Okay, so I own this copy currently of Aragon and I love this series as well. It's very nostalgic for me. Um, so I own this copy, but I actually really love the original, not original, maybe original, I don't know. I love this edition, the like, I don't know they're both pretty but like i really i saw this one and i really wanted to get it because it's only a dollar at the thrift store so i bought this one even though i already own it i really need to reread it because this series also makes me really happy um yeah so i bought this one and this is probably the one i'm going to reread i only got three books at the thrift store and then i also went to a little free library in my neighborhood as i showed in the video I picked up a one of the free books from the free bin at Second Charles. I didn't actually buy anything at Second Charles today. Um, I was looking for the next edition of the manga that I've been reading, Attack on Titan, and they did not have it, unfortunately. So um, I also was gonna look for, I just recently repurchased a GameCube, which is my favorite console of all time. So I was looking for games for that. Um, I don't have anything to play on the GameCube that I bought right now, but that's what I'm working on is finding all my old games that I love so much. So, but I didn't find any today, but instead I picked up a free book to trade out in the little free library, which if you don't know what a little free library is, it's basically exactly what it says, where people will set up their own, like give a book, take a book kind of thing. And so that's what I did and I showed it in the video. And I've heard a lot about this book. This is the book that I took. It's called Legend by Marie Lu. Um, from different worlds, June and Day have no reason to cross paths until June's brother is murdered and Day becomes the prime suspect. In a shocking turn of events, the two uncover what has really brought them together in the sinister uh, links to which their country will go to keep its secrets. So this sounds kind of like dystopian-esque. I've heard a lot of good things about this. I've seen a lot of hype around it. And so I thought that would be a cool addition to my library. And when I'm done, I'll take it to another free library and trade it out, or I'll take another book and trade it out. So. I also got these really cute boots. Um, these were $7.99 and they're Columbia and they're just cute little hiking boots. And I enjoy hiking and want to start going more. I used to go a lot like last year during the pan like height of the pandemic. I went a lot and I need a good pair of hiking boots. So I got these for a great deal. They're in great condition. Okay, I decided to get show me you my groceries because they're boring and uh i'm gonna go ahead and start making dinner thank you guys so much for watching oh let me show you my new library setup so hunter actually did this uh while i was at work and he's the sweetest thing i've ever seen in my life 
Um, so my bookshelves used to be over here in this corner, just like a little nook. And now this is like our coffee slash my record player storage corner. And we have some of Hunter's comics down there. So I plan on getting like a chair to put right here, like a reading chair so I can have that window. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about it. This gives me more room to put shelves here. Um, not really much different here. I have all my Disney pops on the top. Um, I have my Disney books here. All in here. I'll do another in-depth tour soon. And then I have my YA fantasy here. And then I have more fantasy, some YA and some adult fantasy. And then my Harry Potter shelf. This is thrillers and all of my Stephen King books. This is more like thriller, mystery, paranormal, etc. This is the little manga that I have and that's a random shelf with nothing really on it. This is kind of another random shelf. This is my classics shelf. This is more <laughs> YA fantasy if you can't tell what my favorite genre is. Uh, well, fantasy and like thriller horror is my favorite as well. Here is historical fiction and contemporary and also my uh, book of the month books and this, these hardbacks that are kind of all the same height, which is really satisfying to me. And then I have my Overwatch art book and some of my gaming pops. And then I have like Christian literature down here and my C.S. Lewis books. So not a whole lot has changed as far as this goes, um, but I wanted to show you guys the way it looks down here now because I really like all the space that I have. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.